Well, again, you know, I always say this. I, I've got to stop saying we got amazing guests because we always do. But this one's, wow, this is a treat. We're going to go in a little different direction today. Um, we met uh, Sal when when uh, our friend John Tantillo, America's marketing doctor, brought us to world famous Patsy's. Because, of course, those of you who follow the show, you know, Alex is a real foodie. I love Italian. I'll, I'll go anywhere for Italian food. And we always heard about Patsy's. And uh, Sal Scognamillo, his family's been running this restaurant. Well, he'll talk about it. I mean, for generations now, it's amazing. And they're an icon. Um, but that's, we didn't, you know, we, we hit it right off with Sal. He became a real good friend. But that's not the reason we have him on. It's because of what he's doing uh, during the COVID-19 situation. So we're going to bring Sal on right now. There he is. Hello. Sal, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, what a pleasure. Thank you you're so much. Best. Appreciate oh, it. Oh, you're the best. First of all, y your food is outrageous, man. I, <laughs> we were, <laughs> Thank you. We were talking about that for weeks afterwards. That was always a dream to, to come down and visit you at Patsy's and to get to meet you and get to know you a little bit. That was a, that was a real special treat. It was, it was a treat for me, too, and a, and a real honor, and I appreciate uh, you having me on the show today. It's, um, it's a wonderful show. It's a positive show. I love what you do. Keep doing it. Well, I appreciate your kindness. You're way too kind because, you, you know, you meet people like, uh, well, in the days, this is Sinatra. You even have the Sinatra room and all that stuff. So for you to say something like that, I'm, I'm pretty humble company compared to no. a lot of the people. Right? <laughs> it's, 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 you know what it comes down to? And I, and I think you, you, uh, this is your philosophy, too, is that uh, every one of us can do something to help. Right. And it seems it may not seem like a lot, but it, 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 it is a lot. Believe me, a little bit goes a long way, especially – during these very, very, very difficult times. So, uh, you know, being that the restaurant is not open right now, we are still yeah. uh, selling our pasta sauce in the supermarkets. And we decided to, uh, to somehow, some way, uh, give some, uh, something back to those first responders. So we're donating all the proceeds for the whole month of April for the sales of the pasta sauce uh, to the direct relief uh, fund, which benefits the uh, first responders. And uh, yeah. it's, an honor, it's an honor to, uh, to do that for them. Well, you know, you say you say it's a small thing, and I'm glad you said that because a lot of the, the the leaders we've been talking to over the last couple of weeks have been asking, and it's our own fault because you know in our in our main message we use three words, you know, inspire, empower, guide. That's what leaders do, and that inspire thing can be a little tricky because people are looking for the grand speech or they're looking for a big gesture. And to me, the most inspirational things are the most simple things. But you know, giving a, a month's worth of profits is is huge anyway. But I understand oh. what you're saying. But in the scheme of things, right, That's that was something you saw you could do something and you did it instead of worrying about what you couldn't do. Well, you know, for me, um, the two major influences in my life have been, uh, which may be a lot of people too, of course, mm -hmm. food and music. And, yeah. uh, you know, the, the two of them came together for us with the fact that uh, our restaurant was made famous by Frank Sinatra. Okay. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't get bigger than that in terms of music. And um, he, uh, to this day, there's people come in all the time because they said they heard Frank used to come here, and it's such a, it's such an inspiration to us. And what can I do as a, a chef? And the small little talent that I have is to uh, is to cook food, which hopefully makes people happy. And that's yeah. that's real, really what we're, what we're trying to do. And in this point, uh, to to give the uh, the the profit to the people who are saving lives, literally saving lives yeah. right now. And yeah. I've I've had the pleasure of speaking with a lot of my friends in the music industry, and I'm sure you've seen on. Mm -hmm on all the uh, uh, streaming platforms, uh, they've been doing concerts from home. Right, and right. and what uh, what better thing, a food, family, uh, and some music. And, uh, mm -hmm. and of course, the, the third F would be Frank Sinatra. You know, food, family, <laughs> Frank Sinatra, right? So that, that's the kind of music that I, I enjoy as well. In that order? Is that the, that's the proper order, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know the old joke about the Italian families, they have a, a portrait of the Pope and Frank Sinatra in their house, not necessarily in that order, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and I'm looking at your hat, and I said, how the heck did I, obviously, I, I, have, to, uh, I have to wear hats. <laughs> I, I don't know how I get out of there without one. I'm going to get one the next time we're down. Oh, I make, sure, we'll I make sure you have it. Yes. It's, oh, uh, oh. we've been very blessed. You know, my grandfather's name was Pasquale. And when he came mm -hmm. through Ellis Island, uh, so many years ago, I believe 1928, he came to America and, uh, yeah. and when he landed, uh, his, uh, his, his name Pasquale, they shortened it to Patsy. Uh, you're right. And, yeah. uh, he yeah. thought it was like the American translation. So, um, he got a real kick out of it. And, uh, when he opened the restaurant that many years later, he uh, yeah. he used the name, and it's Patsy's Italian restaurant. Our, I want to just emphasize our only location mm -hmm. on West 56th Street. It's uh, patsy's.com without the apostrophe on the web. And right now the sauce is available in supermarkets. 
like uh, King Supermarket ShopRite is a big supporter of us. Yeah. Some of the food towns. We do have a website, but temporarily our uh, fulfillment house is. Uh, God bless them too. They're sending out uh, supplies for uh, like mask and and uh, for oh, right. the for the people who need that type of stuff. So we're we're temporarily not shipping out of that right now, but it will be up soon enough uh, to the people outside the area that can't get it in the store near them can also buy the uh, sauce. I've been um I've been so inspired. You know, sometimes you 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 try and feel like a little bit. Uh, you know, down on, 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 you know, uh, the prospects of things, and the way things are going, but you have to really look and see, I'm so, so blessed. My customers, which become family and we're four generations of the Scognamillo family at Patsy's Italian restaurant over 76 years. And uh, my customers have been po posting videos and pictures from my, of, of the pasta sauce that they're cooking at home now. Cause of course a lot oh, of people yeah. are cooking at home, uh -huh. they, 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 um, it, it inspires me so much. This is uh, this is what the vodka sauce looks like. I don't know if I'm holding it the right way here to the label right oh, you there. Oh, you're showing us the yeah. secret <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the vodka, the marinara, yeah. tomato basil. And oh. also people have been posting uh, my cookbook, which uh, yeah, put that is up Patsy's, Patsy's Italian Family Cookbook, the forward by Ben Stiller, you know, the actor. Oh, right, nice, yeah. Nice man. Yeah. And uh, I did another book years ago. Uh, also Patsy's Italian restaurant cookbook yeah. and the forward was by Nancy Sinatra, Frank's daughter. Oh, wow. And, and to see people posting these recipes and videos from home, yeah. it's, it's, you know, now is the time to be home with your family. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's the old expression, you have a lemon, you make lemonade and mm -hmm. people literally are home uh, doing what they can do to keep together. And what's a big thing. I mean, I hate to say it's, I, I look forward to every meal, <laughs> even <laughs> before this but at least now it's something to do and to get in yeah. you know get on the stove and start cooking mm -hmm. it's it's uh, it's good because you bring the family together isn't that what it's about bringing the family and people together. are saying that more that they're you know spending more time right sitting down at the table and eating uh than they used to you know we just grab it and go in front of the tv and hey if you're listening live right now if you're on the live stream not on the replay um well actually if you're on the replay too share your comments share your ideas and if you have something for sale, if you're watching on the replay, we'll make sure it gets to him. But right now, while you're yep. live, really appreciate the hearts and thumbs. Those are really cool. But we'd love to hear your ideas. What are you doing at home? What are you cooking? And hey, somebody come in here and ask ask Sal what the hell's in his sauce. <laughs> take take <laughs> the, the pressure ingredient. off me. I don't want to. I don't want to ask about the secret ingredient. You well, know, you, well, it's, it's <laughs> funny. People, people ask me. It's that love. It's love. <laughs> well, no, they ask me all the time, but you know, we do share our recipes on Facebook at least once a week. Uh, on on Mondays, we share our recipes, and yeah. you know, really, if you ask me, what's the secret now for our Southern Italian kitchen, which is a Neapolitan Southern Italian mm -hmm. red sauce restaurant, proudly, yeah. proudly yeah. what we are. There's two main sauces. One is marinara, which is with mm -hmm. garlic, and everyone thinks that every Italian dish has to have garlic, and it's yeah. it's not it's not true. But the other main sauce is the tomato basil. And the base is mm -hmm. onions. So let's just take marinata, for example, if you're yeah. asking me a secret. There is real no secret in the sense that it's obviously olive oil, garlic, mm -hmm. some good canned tomato or fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, oregano, basil. But what's the difference? We don't cook it for a long time. Now, people will mm -hmm. say, oh, I had my sauce simmering for 10 hours on the stove, and it right. sounds good. But that would be if you did something like where you put spare ribs in it or brajol, something that needs a long time to cook. Mm -hmm. If you overcook a basic marinara, again, garlic, oil, tomato is the basic ingredient, you're going to ruin the tomato flavor. Mm -hmm. So if you bring it to a boil, it simmers for 15 minutes, put your paste in, let it simmer another 10 minutes. That's, quote, unquote, the secret. Yeah. But, you know, you're being too modest, too, though, because a lot of people – uh, overdue, right? It's the balance of the ingredients and especially garlic. I mean, I, I love garlic. Don't get me wrong. I love garlic, but there's so many times when I've gone to, you know, to a restaurant where this, the garlic is so heavy and yours is such, yours, it's just balanced so nicely. I mean, well, you know, my father was the chef before me and mm -hmm. my grandfather, Patsy was the first chef. Yeah. And when my father taught me how to cook, I've been there full time since 1985 now, right, right out of college. And he said, Sal, we're gonna, I'm going to teach you how to cook now. And this is what we're going to learn. You are the uh, student. I'm the teacher. At the end of this, you will be the teacher and I'll be the student, which isn't true. He's still a better cook than me. <laughs> but the one thing he did, the one thing he did, um, 
emphasized was exactly what you said. Sometimes people think, oh, if I put more salt in or I put more mm -hmm. garlic in, it's going to be even better. Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily the case. Obviously, garlic is a taste. If you like more, you put more. If you like less, you put right. less. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, my family, uh, we love garlic, but you know it sort of repeats on you after a while. So what we do is we take the whole cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. we brown them in the sauce, we get the flavor of it, we cook the sauce and then we take the garlic out so we don't accidentally eat it. Oh. And, and only because it's good for you, but it's just, it would it repeat on you. And that's the way Frank Sinatra liked it, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's the thing too, isn't it? The, the garlic, we were wondering if the garlic was going to kill the corona. I, I keep saying corona, <laughs> the corona. <laughs> I made up this stupid word just to, you know, make light of it. Now I, I'm stuck I with it. I can't, I can't stop saying it. But it's stuck yeah, in your head. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. It's stuck in my head. You know what else is stuck in my head though? What? What I I had your um I had your veal was it this did I have the scallopini there the rollatini with the mozzarella yeah inside? yeah yeah, yeah 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 I think the veal rollatini masala most, That's most popular, what, yes I love that most popular love that. veal dish next to the veal meatballs or the veal parmesan is the veal rollatini masala and what it is yeah. is. Well, I stole, the I stole the meatballs off Alex's plate. Oh, well, you know, that's what friends are for, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we make the meatballs all out of veal. And again, yeah. going back to recipes, there's no right and wrong. That's the recipe my grandfather made. Mm -hmm. on, on Facebook last week, I put a recipe of the beef meatballs. That's the way my mom makes them. And she yeah. makes them without garlic, yeah. with onions inside. So people were saying, no garlic, no garlic. And I said, well, this is, and it's not right or wrong. It's what you like. It's what you like yeah. um, but the veal, what you had, the veal roll Tini masala, a very popular dish. It's a veal scallopini. We beat it down flat. We yeah. stuff it with mozzarella prosciutto, roll it up, and a saute in a masala wine and mushroom sauce. You're very, killing very me. You're killing <laughs> I, me. I, wish we, <laughs> I wish we could figure out how to email food. Don't you think that would be good, right? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. I, I'm half thinking right now. I'll put on my mask. I'll just drive down and fill up yeah. my van with your stuff and, and yeah. bring it back. <laughs> Why not? Why, <laughs> right? Why not? The traffic's Why not? not bad right now, I hear down there. Uh, that's for sure. That's the, the only little, little good part of it. But you know you know what I really I, I want to talk to you about was really yeah. nice is that is – that, um, People really are showing how good they are right now, and I'm yeah. so I'm so inspired by it. I'm so happy because I really believe that basically all people are good, and and I really hope that this feeling uh, continues on after uh, we pass this uh, right. whole sad history in in, in in our in our time. And uh, we're all doing our part. We're all doing uh, what we have to do to keep people safe and get better. But let's let's always remember to be uh, to be kind and good to each other, not just in bad times. No, That's a, important. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad you brought that up too, because th there's two things that really came to mind as you were talking earlier. You know, first of all, I want to make sure people again understand that you know you're you're donating your April profits uh, to the first responders, and I I think that's a huge gesture. I mean, you know, you're a small business; it's it's hard, you know, these days, and and yet you're you're really pitching in. And along those lines, you know, for people who haven't been to New York, I think what they don't realize, you know, um, how tight people are there right you see it's not it's not the movie vision of people always too fast i mean it is a fast city it definitely yeah. is a fast city but every time in, in new york alex always jokes with me about this right i'll stand waiting for the subway and someone will walk up to me and start telling me their whole life story right <laughs> i mean and the yeah. and the way the neighborhoods the neighborhoods are still there right the people are very tight and they're very loyal and you hit and you've built this huge community around patsies like you said the people right People are part of you. It's part of part of the whole. Thing. I mean, I'm so blessed. The people that have been coming there for years. I mean, it's people mm -hmm. that are coming there before I was even the chef there, mm -hmm. and it's so nice to hear from them to say, you know. And we do get a lot of out of town people as well. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to see, hear them say, you know, the first place uh, we when we land uh, in New York, we want to come to have dinner at your restaurant. I mean, it's such yes. a heartwarming feeling, and and I got to tell you, probably a. The best compliment I, I, I'll never forget I, that I've ever received is, is a gentleman who's been coming forever. He's in, he's in his 70s. He's yeah. now brought his children and grandchildren, and he'll bring the future generation. And, you know, I say, hello, welcome back. We hope you enjoy everything tonight. And he said, he turned around, he looked at me, he pointed to me, he said, Sal, you know, I know what the food's going to taste like before I sit down. That's why I yeah. come back all the time. And we've been blessed. We're very, um, we're very loyal to. I deal with some of the same supply as my grandfather dealt with. I'm dealing with the grandchildren. For instance, we buy our mozzarella from the same, you know, all our cheese from the same supplier for 75 years. Now he's been in business wow. since 1920. Uh -huh. It's uh, De, De Paolo Fine Foods down uh, downtown in uh, Little Italy. 
And uh, it's just, you know, it's a level of consistency. Yeah. You know, my father, of course, when he trained me to be the chef, he made me promise never to uh, change things. And um, I think I could tell you a funny, uh, a funny story about my grandfather, Patsy, was uh, fortunate. I was so fortunate enough that he actually got to see me be the chef. He passed in 1986. Yeah. I and remember I started, you saying that. Yeah, and yeah. I started in 85. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you a funny story. I might have told you in person. Was that one of the last times he was at the restaurant was in, in late 80, in the summer of 85. Yeah. And we usually eat dinner at 3 o'clock in between lunch and dinner. We sit down. The family mm -hmm. has dinner then. So Grandpa came in to, uh, to see the restaurant, to see the family, to join us all. And we're at the front. There's about 10 of us. And we see him walk in the door. We put our arms out to give him a hug, Grandpa. He walks past all of us. He goes in the kitchen, goes downstairs. He comes back five minutes later. I said, Pop, where'd you go? He said, I went in the refrigerator to check and see if you're buying the same deal I told you to buy. <laughs> so, you know, it was that kind yeah, of, uh, yeah. that was all he cared about, first and foremost. And he was him and my grandmother. Quality, right? and my grandmother, Conchetta, was such an amazing yeah. woman, way yeah. ahead of her time. She was the business person when they yeah. started the restaurant. And uh, I'm very blessed. Dante, thanks for chiming in. Dante Vespignani. Now, Sal, he's from Pittsburgh. I hope you don't mind that. But he, oh, <laughs> for Dante, with a, name like, with a name like that, I'll uh, have, have to prove something. I hope. Right, I hope we make you, you happy. Yeah. Ask for me, Dante, please, when you come right. in. And Dante, he did, provides great services for entrepreneurs, connecting them with franchise opportunities. So Dante, go ahead and put your, your contact information. He was on the show a couple of weeks ago or a few days ago. Put oh, your contact nice. information up, Dante, so people know how to get in touch with you. And awesome. Yes. Don't worry about it, my, my brother. We'll, we're going to bring you down to Patsy's and introduce you down there. And, you know, Sal, one of the coolest things, too, you, you know, there's a lot of places to get good food. You know what I mean? And I, I always I always go, go by the, the feeling that people give me when I come in, you know? Yes. And, of course, a, a little plug for our dear friend, our mutual friend, right, uh, Dr. John Tantillo, America's marketing doctor. Great who also has great resources for entrepreneurs. But when he when he brought us there and walked in the place and you came up and you greeted us like you'd known us. I mean, you just met us and you greeted us. And, and not only that, I mean, and Alex still treasures it. I couldn't drag her out of there. We had to get out of there. You you guys were talking food for about an hour and a half. I remember. <laughs> you know what I mean? And to me, that's the that's the most special parts of, of, of an experience like that. And I mean, I, I, I just treasured that. That was so cool. Well, I got to tell you again, the, the things that just warm my heart and, and make me so happy. Well, Don, Don, Dante said his grandma was the same as yours. Was Conchetta? All right. You see, we got something in common already. <laughs> um, yeah. What warms my heart is that people, when they come in, they say it's, it's, it's obviously, you know, the food, but it's the Patsy's experience, the Patsy's Italian restaurant experience. Mm -hmm. it's, it's that. And, and the greatest thing they say, we feel like we're coming home. Yeah. And honestly, these are the dishes my grandparents cooked in their home. And, and, and grandpa would always joke and grandma would always joke. We have a, you know, same thing as a home. It's just a bigger kitchen and a bigger dining room and more friends, you know? Yeah. So yeah. that's what it is to us. No, it's real special. You know, I grew up uh, near West, uh, Westerly in Providence, Rhode Island, you know, it was a big, uh, big food, food town, Providence, right? I've especially. been there. I've been there. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And I remember that was, that was the feeling. The restaurants I always liked the best were the ones that, yeah, they treated you like family. Um, they weren't as good about sharing recipes. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's be honest. Things have changed. It's the internet. You get every recipe in the world you want there. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really made, it's like you say, it's made with love. This is our family right. recipes. It's a fun thing. And I mean, you know, even like, uh, like Nancy Sinatra, when she, she wrote, like I told you, she wrote the forward to my first cookbook yeah. and she wrote to me, she wrote, she said to, to me, Patsy's is more than a restaurant. It's a touchstone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the things in her life, how many times she was there with her dad and her friends and continues to come. And it's it's those kind of feelings that really make me so, so very happy. I mean, whether it's a celebrity or not. And sometimes, you know, you get I've had people come to, you know, after they ate and they had such a good time at the restaurant. They said, you know, I was a little hesitant. I felt like maybe it's a tourist trap because of the celebrities oh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and and fortunately, we're able to. Uh, to uh, to convince them it's not that and that everyone is important to us i mean when i have the um the good blessing of being able to go around and say hello to everyone in the dining room as you as you witnessed that mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. and you know i usually sometimes i have to work a position in the kitchen at night usually my work is done by about three or four o'clock i do the the major preparation the sauces the baking the, the soups cutting up the veal you know ordering all the food and if i can i walk around the dining room and it's my greatest pleasure to meet people. That's what I like to do. And again, I'm, I'm in a business that I'm so blessed that I have an opportunity to make people happy. Yeah. And, and I really enjoy that. 
You know, what else I wanted to ask you about was, we'll get back to the food in a second. I promise you guys that are tuning in. So, <laughs> but you've been, like you said, you've been in business more than seven, more than 75 years now. And, you know, through, through the generations like that, a lot of people are very, very worried right now. You know, how are we going to get through this? And, and you've been in 75 years, you've had, you've been through times like this. You've been through some ups and downs where, right. And especially during nine 11 and, and, you know, how much yeah. that impacted, what, what's your advice for people that are worried right now about where their business is going? What are some of the, the strategies you, you uh, employed during the, deployed during the years to, to keep things moving? Well, you know, one of the things is obviously you got to have a good attitude. I mean, that's, that's easier said than done, but you do have to always look at the glass half full and look at the blessings that God's given you. And, and I really do. And, and, you know, it's, it's very difficult. I'm in a position where I'm very lucky because we've been there a long time. Mm -hmm. We are established. Um, I think, you know, we, 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 you know, we should be able to be okay after a long time. Uh, I think you look to your, uh, to inside yourself. And I think you look to your employees too. I was just going to say, how are you staying connected with, how are you keeping the, these guys engaged? Yeah. Well, we, we do. We, we, as a matter of fact, last night I called almost every one of them. Mm -hmm. um, they're Excellent. doing well. They're keeping their heads up. They're the ones who are saying to me, oh, boss, we're worried about you. And I said, you know what? <laughs> I'm worried about you guys, you know. And yeah. thank God, you know, some some have uh, wives who are still working or, or uh, partners that are still working. Mm -hmm. And uh, some have been able to get the unemployment, which of course is helpful as well. Mm -hmm. And it was the hardest decision. My wife and I were literally in tears when we had to let go our employees, but it was the right thing to do. We discussed it with them because then at least they could collect unemployment. Oh, right, right. So I think, I think you know, I always, I always have this vision in my head. I don't know, since I'm a kid of, of the slow and steady turtle. Let's just, you know, keep moving forward, slow and steady, keep our, uh, mind, uh, eyes on the prize at the end of this tunnel. Think about what good we're doing by staying home and saving lives. And, you know, let's just, I know it's hard. I know it's not easy to have patience for this, but let's just keep being positive. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. I think you're starting to see a few of the states looking at the reopenings. You know, New York, I think, will be a little bit tougher. We were the hardest hit, you know, it's one of those times where you're not happy that New York was number one, you know, I mean, it's <laughs> right. the, really, yeah. uh, really yeah. tough, but, uh, mm -hmm. with the, with the, with the good leadership and, uh, you know, whether it's the state or the, uh, or the, the, the federal level, I think that we have, uh, good people guiding us, uh, good medical experts guiding us. And I think that at the end of the day, you know, hopefully we'll all look back as a bad memory with this and, and go forward with the lessons we've learned and, Again, again, it inspires me, and I hope it inspires other people to see how good people are, especially during this 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 very tough time. People are good to each other. Well, you're you're the inspiration, and I'm deadly serious about this. I mean, I I appreciate that you acknowledge some some leaders that are more visible, right? Yes. But you know, everything that we work on around here, you know, with with businesses and, and associations, is is about you know, the leadership at all levels, no matter who we are. I mean, to me, there's two types of people in the world. There's leaders and there's people who refuse. Mm. And it doesn't matter what your That's job true. is. It's nothing to do with the authority, right? You have great people on your front lines. They're, they're terrific leaders. Uh, they might have little or no authority at all. And we all know there are plenty of people, a lot of power and authority that are lousy leaders. But, you know, that idea, what you're doing, and, and I mean this from the heart, you, you are absolutely embodying what we talk about when we talk about a sensei leader particularly because, you know, right now you're, you're showing such courage, you're showing such compassion, you know, internally with your, with your team and externally with the community. And, you know, that's what it's all about. So, um, you know, I appreciate your leadership through this. Oh and, my God. I really appreciate it. That means so much coming from you. It's just, uh, it's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta rise up to the occasion, you know, God doesn't throw more than you can handle. And, and we got to rise up to what we can do. I mean, and you always think about this, this the poor people that obviously have passed and, mm -hmm. and, and, and they can't, they can't fight anymore. And yeah. at least we're here to fight another day, you know, and get, I don't mean fight, but, you know, get up there and well, no, it's good to keep going. Work, yeah. my, 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 my friend, Tony Danza says, keep punching, you know, that's what his words are. <laughs> well, there's a good segue. There's a good segue. Cause I'll tell you one of the things that, that you do so well, and again, it's a mark of a wonderful, it's a, it's a leadership quality that I'm frankly very jealous of, <laughs> you know, you, you know, you walk around that restaurant, you, by name, no people, because you were greeting people in there that hadn't been in for a while. I remember one one woman said she hadn't been in there a couple of years, and you knew who she was. You knew her name. You remembered us. We were so so touched that you remembered us when when we got in touch again. And you know, hey, 
I know I did some time as a boxer, but I can't remember anybody's damn name. I'll tell you. I'm so, I'm so jealous. Well, my wife's much better than me at that. Remember, remember well, name. if she's better than you, then my God, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's yeah. important. I mean, you know, again, they feel like, uh, you know, they're walking back into their home. They feel like family. It's it's a great thing. It's fun. You know, it's funny. I mentioned about Tony Dancer, but you know who was in yeah. for the first time about a month before uh, all this uh, no. craziness happened? I think you would appreciate it was a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, yeah, Plus, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, oh. my kids love that iconic fight scene with uh, with uh, Bruce with Lee. Bruce Lee, yeah. <laughs> I know it. Bruce, Bruce Lee's like right. He's like this, and Kareem is he had he's easily twice twice as tall. Tall, tall fella, yeah. But uh, oh, nice yeah. man, nice man. And it, but it's 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 so much fun for me to go to work every day. I enjoy mm -hmm. it so much, and that's the part I'm really missing right now. Is and and I'm sure most people are it's connecting with people, and I'm so lucky yeah. to connect with people. Mm -hmm. Every day, these people that, that come in to us and, and are loyal to us. And, and, you know, in a city of 20,000 restaurants, you know, the fact that when they land in New York, they say the first place I want to go is, is to your restaurant, Patsy's Italian Restaurant on West 56th Street. It's just so, uh, it's just so heartwarming. And, and again, it's like this, some people say, oh, I planned my whole vacation around you <laughs> going to eat at your <laughs> restaurant. I said, well, I hope you enjoy the movie, the theaters that you're going to and all those things. You know, it's very, it's a great location. It always has been. And it, it's near the theaters. It's near Carnegie Hall, Midtown Manhattan. I always, get, uh, the, I always get the streets mixed up. It's 56th Street, right? 56th Street between yeah, 8th and Broadway. Know. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's always been a great location. We've been very lucky with that. And uh, my, uh, my oldest son has joined the business now full time. He graduated yeah. a few years ago. Um, he always wanted to do this ever since he could talk. I never forced him to do this. Yeah. I wasn't forced into this business. As a matter of fact, I took television and film production in, in college. So this type oh, of okay. stuff, I love it. You know, it's really yeah. right up my alley. Um, but uh, I, I couldn't get a job. I worked for six months as a cameraman. I couldn't get a job anymore. And my father said, would you like to learn how to cook? Mm -hmm. And I did. And my younger son, my oldest son, like I said, he, he always wanted to do this. Our younger son, he, he's, he's working there part time, but he's going back to school. He loves psychology. He was so blessed. He got, uh, he got accepted into a uh, Fordham for a, um, uh, a PhD degree for oh, psychology. That's great. Yeah. He worked, uh, he worked in, in Manhattan, actually in the Bronx for six months mm -hmm. at a, uh, homeless shelter. He's very good, you know, helping people, things like that. Yeah. And, um, but he helps us out at the restaurant as well. So yeah. it's, it's, it's good, but like we never forced him. I mean, that's the point I wanted to make. I wasn't forced to do that. Mm -hmm. And my oldest son wanted to do it. My youngest son didn't want to do it. As a matter of fact, three or four years ago, he came to me and my wife in tears. And then we said, what's the matter? He said, you know, I don't know if I want to work at the restaurant. <laughs> we oh. said, of course, that's okay. You know, yeah. it's, 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 of course, you know, it's better if it comes from the heart anyway. Yeah, no, for sure. Hey, listen, I, I, I can listen to you all day. And uh, but we, we're, we've promised to keep this sort of lunch break friendly. We, so we, if you have a few minutes, we still have a few, if, you, if you've got questions, if you're chiming in. And thanks so much. Boy, there are a lot of people popping in and out today. And they say oh. on, on these live streams, if someone stays in for more than four or five minutes, uh, that's pretty cool. And it looks like oh, a lot nice. of people have. So that's <laughs> nice. Thanks for the, the, the hearts and the, and the thumbs. Um, if you've got a comment or question or idea, tell us how you're getting through. Tell us what you're cooking. What's on your stovetop? <laughs> during yeah, the, right? Yeah, I mean, you're, and believe me, you're a big influence on Alex. Um, she's, you know what she's really good with is she makes the most amazing pizzas out of, gosh, anything, anything around. It's just, ugh. Oh, God bless her. <laughs> Terrific. Well, you know, there's all these things on Facebook be the uh, before quarantine and after quarantine. And, you know, mm -hmm. after quarantine, you put on a few pounds. <laughs> that's right. you know, that's, that's what a, I'm thinking. That's but we gotta, we, we got we to gotta buy a couple of cases of your sauce next time we're down. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if they have it in. Do you, are you in the stores in the Northeast up here in Maine or anything? Do you we know? For a while, we're, we're having a little bit with the distributors right yeah. now. We're trying oh, to yeah. get back in because mm -hmm. obviously all that's going on right now. Right, sure. Yeah, but, yeah. And we will have our website uh, up and running soon enough that you could uh, buy it and it's shipped anywhere to, throughout the country. It's no problem. And that's the patsies.com? Patsies.com, no apostrophe. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, like I say, if you come to New York City, it's our only location. It's uh, Patsy's Italian Restaurant on West 56th Street. The Scogna Miller family, we've been there so many years. Last year, we had the 75th anniversary party, which was a blast back in September. We had a great time. Yeah. A lot of people came. It really is so, is so amazing. Um, restaurants come and go, and we're so lucky to still be there. Um, you know, after second or third generation, sometimes – 
you know, you don't have anyone to take over. And uh, yeah. if his oldest son wasn't interested, you know, then we'd have to see what happens. But he's uh, he's great. He's running the dining room. He uh, he's so funny. He took he got a master's in uh, in business in Quinnipiac in uh, the college uh, up in Connecticut. And after he graduated, he says, Mom and Dad, I want you to know I didn't learn anything. So I said, <laughs> says, I learned everything from, from you here at the restaurant and how to run a business. I said, well, that's good news and bad news. <laughs> there you go. Dante's chiming in again. He's, oh, thank you, Dante. That's so sweet. Thank you. Because, Dante, I pick on you enough about Pittsburgh. And, and believe me, I, I, I've had some great food in Pittsburgh, too. But, Dante, it's not, it's not Patsy's. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get any of our friends mad. No, I'm sure that's uh, all different and throughout the country everyone well they were mostly they're mostly the, the restaurants i found in uh in uh pittsburgh were because I, I always like the ethnic restaurants you know yes and they were mostly uh german and uh polish because i'm half polish too so that was kind of cool oh, but, good good stuff yeah. german food i love that too yeah right <laughs> oh, yeah. i love everything as you can see you know <laughs> <laughs> that's part of my problem you know it's my, my, yeah. my only vice is eating too much i guess but that's not so bad well, i guess you can't, can't trust the thin chef right <laughs> uh right exactly and well, hopefully you'll make it up this way sometime and uh Oh, that know, would be we'll great. treat we'll treat you we'll treat you as some real lobster, not the tourist oh, lobster. I was gonna say, yeah, you know the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we know we know where the good stuff is, where it's steamed, not boiled. You know, I, I, <laughs> it's criminal to boil lobster. I can't stand Look, that. <laughs> very different, yeah, very different. See a little. See now you talk about these little subtle differences. Like uh, people ask me the secret to the sauce. There's a, a secret you just gave people <laughs> that make that small uh, difference makes a big difference in the flavor. Is this a friend of yours, Sal, Eddie? Oh yes, my buddy Eddie says he's a great singer. Well, oh, Eddie's been great. He's there been doing go. he's been doing live stream. Um, uh, he does Sinatra stuff. He's been doing live stream from his house, and he's really it's a lot of fun. I think every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on his uh, Facebook page, he does some wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, Sinatra oh, yeah. singing. He's a good friend of ours. Yeah, Eddie, you you email me. I'll put the email in the comments. We, we'll get you on here, and uh, we'll we'll promote your live stream too. That's really cool. A lot of people, like you said earlier, a lot of people are doing that. Um, it's so uplifting, you know. I mean, yeah. you know, music. They they know that it it it, it helps you. It, it lowers your blood pressure. It makes you you know feel calmer. Makes you feel happy, yeah. especially songs that you enjoy. Yeah, you know, I I think we talked about it when we were down it because uh, the secret's out now anyway. But my alter ego, Diego Fedora, plays surf guitar. You know, I used to be in the music business years ago as a drummer, but now it's uh, surf guitar. Eddie, email me here. And anybody has questions, you want to get things to sell or anything, just just uh, email me here. Um, oh, and while I'm on the subject, I should do a little bit of business. Uh, join the Sensei Leader Movement now. We've got the Black Belt membership up for free while we're experiencing this. It's usually about $30 a month for that. The best part of that, a lot of cool things. You're going to get a lot of downloads of books, some online courses to help you grow and, and, and develop more as a leader. But the best part of the Black Belt membership is a live call that we do every month. So make sure you take full advantage of that. Just send me an email and we'll hook you up with a coupon for that. And Eddie, yeah, make sure you give us a shout. The music thing. Yeah. No, I, I you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad I don't do it for a living anymore because that's a tough business, you know. Oh, it, it, that's the yeah. music, yeah. food, construction. Right. Those are the three, three number failing. I know. And I grew, right. And I grew <laughs> up in construction. So it was. But the uh, but I love it. I love it, and uh, you're right. It's it brings great. such it's, joy, it's right? Very yeah. inspiring, and, and what yeah. you're doing also with your with your yeah. membership there. That's very inspiring. That's really nice that you're offering that. Yeah, God bless okay. you. No, I appreciate that. It's a small thing, but it's it, you know we're just trying to get everybody to to get together and share ideas, and that's the most important thing. It's about sharing ideas. Um, like is. our li our live calls are not lectures. We we have a good conversation. So, yeah. Well, this way you don't feel you're alone. And I mean, you know, yeah. I'm for, I, I live on Long Island, so I have a house. At least I have a little room to walk around. But I got to tell you, the people in New York, and, you know, New York apartments are small. To be in there and, and doing the sheltering in place, God bless them. That's, that's a, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Yeah, that's what Eddie's yeah. putting up. So, yeah, it's, it's getting worse by the day, the whole hospitality industry. Yeah. No, Very exactly, hard. Eddie. I feel, you know, most of my living is – uh. Uh, well, up until about three weeks ago, you know, most of my living was live uh, presentations, keynotes at conferences and workshops and things like that. And we had the best year lined up that we've ever had. And in, in three or four days, we saw the entire year evaporate. Oh, goodness. I'm you know, sorry. So you see, well, you know, like you said, you got to, you got to, you know, do what you got to do. We yeah. pivoted to online. We were planning on a six month rollout for our online products. We squeezed that into 
three frantic weeks. So I hate it when the, you see, you know, you see the some of the celebrities sitting there by the pool saying, "Oh, it's so nice to have quiet time." I said, "Oh yeah, <laughs> they're not they're not getting the message there. It must be. Kids. It must. They're be, out of touch. Know. They're out of touch when they do that. <laughs> some of them, huh? Yeah, but no, it's cool, Eddie. Best thoughts for you, man, and and uh, reach out and sell. You're not a black belt club member yet. You're not a sensei leader member yet. Oh, We're going to make you one. I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to send Please. you the link. Yeah, we'd love to have you involved. That'd be an honor, of course, my friend. That yeah. would be great. Yeah, Eddie uh. Eddie goes out to restaurants and sings at restaurants all the time. Obviously, that part is uh, evaporated. And he's yeah. a wonderful man. He actually, for my in-law's 60th anniversary, uh -huh. uh, wedding anniversary a few years ago, we had him uh, sing uh, for them there, and he did a phenomenal job. There's there's another uh -huh. man who makes you feel so welcome and at home. You know, that that's, that's what this is all about. And I'm so... Oh, thank you. He says, once this is over, we're going to have a bash at the restaurant. I want to know, I want to know about that. I, oh, we got to yeah. get everyone together, of course. And, that'd be cool. We'll, we'll come sure down you for jump, that. Eddie, you jump up on a chair like my friend George Petignano does. That's another friend of mine. George, <laughs> George Petignano does the singing as well. It's, uh, it's great. You know, I'm so lucky, and I think good people find good people as well. Yeah. And, and, and I'm so happy that uh, we were introduced by our friend uh, – uh, John Tantillo. He's a, he's a wonderful yeah. man. He's been coming to the restaurant forever. Yeah. Very insightful. Very. Uh, it's so calming to hear his voice, your voice. You guys uh, must understand what a great effect you have on people. Well, I appreciate you saying that. You know, <laughs> it's only one George who can jump up on a chair, I guess, right? <laughs> well, at a certain age, we got to be careful about how many chairs we're jumping up on. Right? <laughs> It's true. It's true. <laughs> oh, it's it's good. It's oh. good. Yeah. But George, yeah. George is a good buddy of mine. You know, I met him many years ago, and uh -huh. he, um, we have a mutual friend. Sadly, who passed away was Danny Aiello. You remember the actor Danny Aiello? Oh, yeah, we were heartbroken. We, he was one of our favorites. Yeah. George, George actually was uh, back in his other life. He was a stunt man on some of the uh, movies with Danny. As a matter of fact, no wow. Danny yeah. would say, I, I, I threw George off the roof right there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, or Apache to Bronx, I think he threw him off the roof there, and uh, yeah. stuff like that. But it's uh, it's great because these are the people that we get together that find each other, that help yeah. each other, and and like what Eddie just said, all of my friends, we have like this little group on Facebook. They all keep saying we can't wait. As soon as this is over, we want to come to Patsy's Italian Restaurant and see you guys and enjoy and get out there. You know, that's so heartwarming to me that that's mm -hmm. their thought. You know, it's 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 a blessing. It really is. Yeah, and it's a blessing that in the meantime we do have you know these platforms as technology, so at least, at least we can at least we can have a conversation. But you know, I'm with you, Sal. So I'm I, I, as you're talking, I can smell patsies. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we wish you'd be able to email all the uh, all the food. You know, it would be better. But you know, uh, yeah, just to remind everyone, you know, we're giving the proceeds for our sauce here, yeah. the sales of our sauce during the month of April, and you could buy it at some of the supermarkets. Uh, we're giving the proceeds to Direct Relief. You buy them at ShopRites, some of the food towns, key foods. Check our uh, website and our Facebook for updates on that. And we'll let you know as soon as you can order it on our website, then you could get it all over the country. So just go yeah. on our Facebook page. We'll keep the updates coming with that. Excellent. Sal, thanks so much for spending this time with us. It was we a genuine pleasure and an honor. Thank you for what you're doing. Believe me, you're making a lot of people feel good too. I, I so appreciate you saying that. The only regret I have is I wish we had thought about this. We could have we could have had lunch together, right? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, we could. Have. It's 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 a type of social distancing lunch there, right? There but you go. We don't want go. all that food in our teeth when we're talking, though. <laughs> well, that's all right. It'll make our visit to our next visit to, to Patsy's even more special. Thanks, Sal, so much. Stay Thank in touch, you. would you? God bless you. And again, send me that link, please. Thank you. Okay, buddy. absolutely. Ciao. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye.